I think a lot of the liability issues that will be of concern can, uh, involve adaptation to climate change. We now have a lot of projections, many of them coming from arts colleagues at Lamont, about what the future climate will look like, or at least what the range is of, of sea level rise, of storms, of extreme precipitation, of drought. Many of these are going to pose significant business risks. And uh, if you're building a, a project in a place that you know in 30 years may well be underwater, that's a problem. And we're seeing an increasing amount of activity in the courts aimed at trying to hold responsible uh, people who do not engage in the kind of rational planning and there are economic consequences of that. Uh, just about a month ago, the U.S. Court of Federal Claims held the Army Corps of Engineers liable for the way it failed to properly build and construct a canal in New Orleans uh, that worsened the effects of Hurricane Katrina. I think we're going to see uh, more of that kind of uh, litigation um, uh, going on around the country. Uh, one very important uh, lawsuit that is pending now is pending in a Dutch court in The Hague in which uh, a nonprofit organization called the Urgenda Foundation uh, and 800 Dutch citizens are suing the Dutch government saying that uh, it should be reducing greenhouse gases more uh, aggressively because of the scientific projections about climate change. The decision on that uh, is expected in a couple of weeks, and depending on how it comes out, it may be globally significant, and we may see a lot of uh, countries ar around the world trying to undertake similar kinds of litigation.